Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. Today's lesson, yes, that's me. Today's lesson is on the simple past tense. Okay, like in did you go out yesterday or we didn't go out yesterday. We worked hard yesterday. Yes, yes, it's an action that happened in the past and you know when it happened. So it's our yellow star in the timeline. You can see it right there. So, how do we form the simple past? First of all, we need a helping or auxiliary verb. In this case, we chose did. And did, we use did for uh, questions and for negative sentences. So, let's look at questions first. Okay, WH question word, if you have one, like where, how, uh, how long, etc., plus the helping verb, did in this case, then subject and then the verb. Okay, like in our example, did you go out yesterday? Okay, that's, that's a good example. Negative sentences. Okay, so we need the subject plus the helping verb plus not plus the verb and the object if you have one. I did not go out yesterday. I didn't go out yesterday. Okay, so what happens with positive sentences? Well, positive sentences have regular or irregular verbs. Okay, so we have the subject for regular verbs plus verb plus ed because it's a regular verb plus object. For example, I danced all night last Saturday. I danced all night last Saturday. Okay, I, how do I know that dance is a regular verb? Well, we just have to learn them, okay? The same with the irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, you need to learn them, okay? By memory. So, the uh, formula is subject plus irregular verb plus the object. Like in our example, I went out yesterday. So, went is the past, the regular past verb of the verb go. Yes, that's right, go. Okay, what happens with the verb to be? Uh, first of all, let's review the, um, the verb to be. I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, they were. Let's um, make an example. I was a student in 1990. They were babies in 1990. Okay, these are positive sentences. What happens with negative sentences? We just add not after the verb to be. I was not, I wasn't a teacher 30 years ago. They were not, they weren't students 10 years ago. What happens with a question? Well, we just write the verb to be first. So, was he paying attention to my lesson? Were you home an hour ago? And so, there we have the simple past of the verb to be. Be careful, the verb to be is special. You don't need did here. Okay, so meaning and use. When do we use the simple past or the past simple tense? To express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. What are some common time expressions used with the past tense? So yesterday, okay, last month, last year, last week, ago, a minute ago, in 1980, for example. There are many, many others. So, time expressions and um, uh, adverbs of time. So, examples. I saw Maria yesterday. 
So is the past, irregular past, verb of the verb to see. Yesterday is an adverb of time. Last Friday, the students took their spelling and vocabulary tests. So took is the regular past of the verb to take. They got married two years ago. Got is the past, the regular past of the verb get. These actions are over. They are all finished. So, English has two types of verbs in the past tense. Regular verbs, as I said before, and irregular verbs. Look at the following list of past tense verbs. Which are regular and which are irregular. Okay, so we have taught. Yeah, that's irregular. Walked. Yes, that's regular. Studied. Regular. Gave. Irregular. Very good. Became. Irregular. Cried. Regular. Lived. Regular. Did. Irregular. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Regular verbs are verbs that end with ed, we said. So simple form of past simple, like walk, study, cry, and live. So walk, walked, study, studied. Pay attention to the y changes to i when you write the past tense. Cry, again, y changes to i, ed, and live, we just add the d, ed, lived. So irregular verbs are verbs that uh, don't end with ed. Some irregular verbs have a vowel change in the past tense. For example, Become, became. Give, gave. Drive, drove. Forget, forgot. Other irregular verbs have a different kind of change. Examples. Teach, taught. Bring, brought. Leave, left. Hear, heard. Buy, bought. For example, Celia bought a new computer last weekend. And some irregular verbs don't change at all. Cut, cut. Hit, hit. Put, put. Set, set. Like in the example. The children set the table every Sunday. And this is present simple right it's not past well it could be past also but i know this is an example of the present simple the second one though is in the past the children set the table last night how do i know it's in the past well because we have the time expression last night last night so, complete the sentences with a past tense verb. Number one, I was a child, I, the piano. Donna, Paris, last month. John, hard, yesterday. My teacher, far, last summer. So, pause the video and write your answers. Okay, so now that you paused the video, you have your answers, we're going to check. When I was a child, I played the piano, ED. Donna visited Paris last month. John worked hard yesterday. My teacher traveled far last summer. Great, you did great. Now, let's try other five sentences right here. So, complete the sentences again with a past tense verb. So, last week, I, you, a letter. The students, an English exam, they, a great job, he, 
his girlfriend at university, Mary, to the city park last Sunday. So pause the video and write your answers. Now that you're ready, let's check them. Last week, I sent you a letter. The students had an English exam. They did a great job. He meant his girlfriend at university. And last one, Mary went to the city park last Sunday. Great! I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please uh, type them under, under this lesson. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, like the video if you liked it and share it.